Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. Today's video is day 11 of the 12 days of Christmas and today we are doing some DIY wood crafts. We are making some wood, we are gonna make some wood presents. For me, this ended up being a scrap wood project. It was a really quick thing to throw together and these would be awesome for your porch, for inside your house, or they would make a really cute hostess gift. So stay tuned. So I was recently on Pinterest when I came across a listing on Etsy for these wood presents and I knew that I wanted to DIY them myself. So I took these two pieces of scrap wood and the sizes are, for the small one, it is nine inches wide by 23 inches tall and the other one is 11 inches wide by 24 inches tall. No rhyme or reason, literally we just had the scrap wood in our garage from when we did our stairs. So the first thing I did was sand them down um, just to make sure that I got off all of the extra dirt and stuff and also to make sure I didn't have any rough edges. And then I took my white Waverly chalk paint and gave the larger piece just one coat all around the outside. I also took my Crimson Waverly chalk paint and painted the small one, same thing, all around, all sides, front and back, with that crimson, and it only took one coat. Once the red piece had dried, then I used two inch blue painter's tape to create my buffalo check. So I put down one piece vertically, then I used another piece as a spacer. You can measure this out if you're OCD, but I am not, and I like to do this quickly. So I just used that piece, moved it along, and did another vertical piece. Then I mixed together some crimson and just some black ink chalk paint to get like a dark maroon color. Um, and that's gonna be your stripes. So then I went through and painted everywhere the tape was not. Once that dries, peel off your tape, but put it to the side because you're gonna need it later. And then do the same thing horizontally with your spacer tape. And then you're gonna go through with that same color and paint it. Now you want a thin layer of paint here because one, it's gonna dry quicker and two, it's gonna help you to be able to see where to put your painter's tape back when you get to the next step. So while that was drying, I just took some sandpaper and roughed up the edges of my whiteboard just so then that way it looked kind of rough and rustic. You could add um, a darker wash over the top of the white. You could do a different color. You could just stain the presents. There's a lot of different options there. And then I took just some burlap ribbon. I've had this for years that I originally got, I think at Michael's, but if you look at the packaging, it's super old. It's been like probably four Christmases ago, uh, but I liked the neutral color for this. So I went around, wrapped it just like a present and then gave myself two long tails that I cut the same length. Then I went back through with my handy dandy Walmart Buffalo check wired ribbon just to create a bow and then I lined up the tails and cut the ends. So then I went back to my Buffalo check and once that was dry, I replaced the three vertical stripes. If you're unsure of where you need to put the stripes, you're putting it back where they went originally. So back over the red stripes. So you can peel up edges of the tape like I do here, just to see to make sure you're on the right track. But you want it to go right back where it was before because then you're gonna make these squares. Once you create the squares, you're gonna go back through with some black paint and just fill in all those squares. And that's how you're going to get your intersecting um, dark marks for your buffalo check. And then once that all dries, you're gonna remove your tape and voila. Once that was dry, I took the same ribbon so that I had the continuity between the two presents and wrapped it the exact same way that I did with the white piece. But this tie, I wanted to move it down a little lower um, so it was more centered on the piece of wood. 
Then I went through and actually tied a bow in the burlap fabric. And then I just added this cute little metal bow from the Target dollar spot and a little sprig of cedar that I also got from the Target dollar spot. I cut up a pick and inserted it with some hot glue, cut the ends, and there you have it. This is a super quick and easy project. I also love projects where I can do them one way and you guys can change them, do what prints you want, you know, really just personalize them to your house. Um, but I really love these for a porch. These would be really cute to give as a hostess gift. Um, and also I think I'm going to put them on the wall behind my tree so it looks a little more full back there because I have not started wrapping. Thanks so much for watching. I will link the rest of the 12 days of Christmas down below in case you're just finding or just tuning in. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more wood DIYs like this. And also hit subscribe down below so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Whip video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 12. Bye! Thank you.